Hey guys, today we're doing a simple tutorial on how to set up a sprite mask in Unity. I've gone ahead and just created a simple scene here. Uh, it's currently a 2D scene, but if you've created a 3D scene, you can just click this button up here and it will switch between those modes. Now, the only asset that I've put in so far is this uh, image here. It's just a bunch of sprites on a single PNG. And what we can do by clicking on it and then going over to the inspector, we can say it's multiple. And then if we go into the sprite editor, we just click apply. And then here you'll be able to slice um, each sprite out as you require. I'm just going to do automatic center and delete existing. So if we just do this, it's going to get our three Im or our five images for us. And then from here, we'll be able to set up our sprites for the sprite mask. And we'll just click save there. And now I'm going to create an empty object and I'm going to name this gift box. And if we just put in uh, any of these sprites, but first I'll put in the empty sprite actually. Uh, child this to the gift box and we can just call this uh, inside gift box. And then if we do the same, to one of these and we just call this outside gift box okay and i'm just going to zero them all out so they're lined up with each other and so what i did with these sprites was i made sure they're the exact same size and this way um, whenever we, we uh, use a sprite mask over the outside gift box, we can then see what's in the inside gift box. So if we just go to the outside gift box and go to the sprite render, we're gonna want to set a mask interaction here and we're going to say it's visible when it's outside the mask. So what that's gonna do is make the sprite invisible when it's inside the mask. So now we just need to set up our mask. Um, so for that, I'm going to create an empty and call it um, magnifying glass. And then I'm just gonna drag this out and I'm going to drag this out. And I'm just going to plug them both in or child them both to the magnifying glass. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is lined up. In fact, I'll zero them out first and then see how they line up. So I'll just make that invisible for now. Put this on zero, 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 and I'm just gonna line this up manually. Okay, and because this is a mask. Okay, so all we need to do is remove this sprite renderer and instead we add a component and that'll be the sprite mask. Um, if we just put the sprite we were using to line it up and we can even move this slightly if we want to realign this. And now this is the mask that's going to be interacting with the GIF box that we just created. I'm just going to call this glass mask and I'll call this sprite the handle. And I may even parent the glass to the handle just in case I move one without the other and then it doesn't follow. Now, so we can move the handle now or the magnifying glass object. And then if we make the GIF box visible, we can now see that they're interacting. But the problem that's occurring also is that they're on the same layer, so you're, we're getting this visual issue. So if I just go to the outside gift box, I can put that on layer one, so it's above the inside gift box. And then on the handle, I can just put this on layer two, so it's above everything. And now as I run the mask across, you can see it's masking out wherever the glass is. So we can see that and we're getting a look at what's inside the box. So this is a great technique that you can use in a 2D sprite environment and you can use it to have layers and masks as such uh, to see through images, create x-ray effects and similar sort of things in our games. Um, now that we've set up the sprite mask and we've got them interacting with one another, I think the next part that we want to do is just set up a very simple script so we can move this in game. So I'm just going to go to the handle and I'm going to add a component and I'm going to add a collider, box collider 2D. 
If we click on this button, we can adjust the size of the collider so we can make it um, as large or as small as we want, but that should be fine for now. And then from there, we're just gonna create a script, a uh, new script, and we'll call this uh, drag script. Cool. And then if we just open that script up, so the first thing we'll want to do on this script is just declare a public camera. And this is just going, going to be the main camera in our scene. Uh, I've put that in the wrong place though. So I'll just cut that and declare it up here. And also I'll want to declare a collider and this is just a collider 2D and we'll call this handle uh, collider. And then in the start function, so this is just called at the beginning of the first frame in a game, and it's only called once, we'll just need to assign our collider. So we say handle collider is equal to this dot game object dot get component, and then we need to get the collider 2D. And this simply is just saying that you know, in the start of this object, we're assigning the collider that is on this game object to this variable called handle collider. Then from there, uh, we just want to go to our update function, which runs every frame. And we just want to detect if the mouse button is being pressed down. So we get input dot get mouse button, uh, get mouse button. And we're just gonna put in zero. Uh, that's the left click button. And this is saying if the mouse button is down, if that's true, then we do the following code. And the following code that we'll want, uh, first we'll need to find out what our mouse position is. So we do a vector two, we'll call this uh, mouse position. And then we'll just say, this is the main camera, main cam, oh, I called it main. Let's just rename it to main cam. And then main cam dot screen, point to world point and then we just say the input is the mouse position so what we're doing here is we're simply assigning the mouse position relative to the camera so that way we we get a mouse position that we can work with from there we just need to check if um if the mouse position is in or on top of the collider that we have. So we just say, if handle collider is equal, equal to physics 2D, and then we just say overlap point, overlap point, and then that's the mouse position. So we're saying if, if this returns to be the same as this so then what we want to do is say this dot transform dot position is equal to the mouse position now if we go back into the engine on the drag script we'll see that a camera hasn't been assigned we can just drag the main camera and then from there if we click play you'll be able to see that now uh, the handle is moving with the mouse uh, you can offset it so it doesn't line up to the exact center. It could be more vertically upwards or, you know, m the mouse is on the handle or wherever you please. But there you have it, a very simple script that allows us to control the magnifying glass in game. So with very little effort, we were able to set up a sprite mask and several sprites. We we're also able to create a quick script that would allow us to control our sprite mask and where it is on the screen. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the content that we're making, please consider supporting our Patreon and helping us make more videos in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this video today.